Hi guys, welcome to the Rule of Two, where the Star Wars news saga continues. I'm Terrence, and I am back. I'm back a little bit sooner than I thought I was going to be back. Uh, I didn't think there was going to be any real Star Wars news until basically Skeleton Crew came out, because Ahsoka hasn't released a trailer, Andor hasn't released a trailer, and Mandor, Mandalorian and Grogu is until next year. So, uh, I figured it was going to be quiet, but then lo and behold, like... The Star Wars gods came out and said that the Acolyte Season 2 is canceled. Now, some of you may be sitting back and celebrating. Others, like me, who, even though he did not like the show, are sitting there and it's like, no, you, you can't do this. You can't do this because you left me with so many cliffhangers. Look, I was real critical of all the episodes going into the show. They had some hits. I think Episode 3 or 4 or something like that was pretty good. Uh, and then the final episode was... Pretty good but it left us at a at a point where we had so many different cliffhangers that to to not do a season two now just makes the first season a waste of time i mean really i got to a point where look there were things that i did not like in this show there's a bunch of things that i didn't like in the show but there's things i did like in the show i like chimere the character chimere was really really good and really really interesting and the simple fact that now, going into now, we're not getting a season two, I don't know more about his backstory. I literally know nothing but except that something tragic happened to him with one of the Jedis that was his master. Vanestra, I think that was her name. I'm trying to block all the people out in this, on this show. Um, what happened with them in particular? Like, he had to be trained by somebody and then um, shifted over to the dark side by, we assume, by Plagueis. I don't know what's going to happen now. It's like this is a great character that's not going to get its just due because, unfortunately, they screwed up the first season. I almost look at him in a way that I look at Darth Maul, especially after Phantom Minims, where it's like, dude, we just got to we just got to know you. We like you now. And then they kill you off. It took uh, Clone Wars uh, and all of the other uh, iterations of animation to be able to flesh him out and kind of give him the ending that he so justly deserved. Kind of feel like the void. Um, but the same thing can't happen with Chimere. They're not really doing a lot in this particular era. There's, um, Andor, but I don't think that he's going to cross paths in Andor. I don't see, I mean, because Palpatine's alive at this particular point, so he can't be. So this was the only thing that they were doing in the High Republic. So this character is unjustly going to be ended where he had so much to give. And, you know, props to the person, to the actor who played Chimera in the show because he did a great job and really involved me when he was on screen. Nobody else. But when he was on screen, I was really invested in this particular show. So uh, I, that's one of the biggest things. Also, too, now, how does this OSHA thing play out? I really hate the fact that they wasted a whole series with this whole twin and this back and forth with the Jedi and this big secret. And it's like, dude, y'all wasted time. All you had to do was say she was on a revenge arc. And then we got to see her corruption more and more into the dark side. Maybe she had some flickers back and forth between going back good or not. But, you know, just keep this dark side focused. I didn't need all the Jedi that they put into this, especially at a point where they were not supposed to know the Sith even exist at this point. That the Sith have been dormant for a thousand years. So it's like it really, really irked me that now when we get to the point that I wanted the season to start with, we're just going to end it. Now I don't see her getting trained. It does help us out with the Star Wars mythology because, hey, you know, there's supposed to be a ruler too. And now we're going to have Darth Plagueis and Chimere and an acolyte in Osha who will somehow break this ruler too. Or I was supposed to get a fight scene between her and Chimere when she's advanced far enough. Maybe she's Chimere's hidden apprentice and then we she uh, she overtakes him and then becomes Plagueis' apprentice. And then maybe somewhere down the line, she runs into Palpatine when she's older and Palpatine murders her. So I, there was a lot that I that the show could have gone into. They just stepped over there. They stepped on their own feet trying to get there. Almost like Deadpool in um, X-Men Origins where they were like, yeah, yeah, I know this isn't the Deadpool you want, but we're going to get there. No, give us what we want ahead of time. So like I said, some people will sit and say, oh, it's like, hey, this is a celebration because now we don't break canon. The story was stupid from the very beginning, and let's just move on. I say I wish they could have started at this particular point, and maybe we would have been able to get into season two. Or sometimes I'm like, hey, you know what? Accept the L from the first time that you do it, and just do it better the next time, and then people will come back around. Masters of the Universe accepted their L when a lot of people didn't like that. The animation on Netflix, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. They accepted their L and then did a better season. That's what they did. Um, 
there's a bunch of things that that didn't do well at the very beginning and then came back around and did it better the second time and then you forget that the the first thing did that first thing actually happened and you just kind of go forward into the future with them on the right track sometimes star wars you can't just bail out on things sometimes you have to stick them <sighs> now with that being said i don't think we're ever going to get another sith based show again I, I mean i think that's over i think this was their one shot at it they screwed it up they probably don't think that we want it and then we're never ever going to get it from a guy look I, my, my show is called rule of two so um this is what we all want and i think sometimes they have to just just get out of their own own way and just give the people what, what they want deadpool 3 deadpool and wolverine gave the people what they want and made a billion dollars disney you can do this just give the people what they want all right so that's all i gotta say about this i feel like it was rambling too much uh, hopefully we get to see more good things coming out of Star Wars. Um, their slate, half the slate seems to be not coming back out or canceled anyway. Obi-Wan's not getting a second season. Um, I don't think the Lando show's coming out. The, the, uh, New Republic show's probably not going to come out anymore. I think it was the Children of the Bone that's not going to come out. The droid thing's not going to come out. So it's about half the show seemingly being canceled along with Alkalite. Uh, and all we really have at this point is Ahsoka. Uh, Mandalorian has spun itself off into a movie. Um, Skeleton Crew's coming out, but I'm not too uh, I'm not too excited about Skeleton Crew. It's it's space Goonies mixed with space Stranger Things. We already got that show, and I don't I don't and I've already seen those two movies uh, or those two properties, so I don't need to see the the Star Wars version of that. Uh, so I I hope that they can get right to ship again. And then give us more of what we really, really want. Uh, and these things that seemingly are not coming out, I hope it's for a good reason. And not just an overreaction that they really didn't have something, that they really didn't have anything planned for them. So let's not let's not make another bad misstep. Or that they did have something planned for, but we overreacted. We just canceled everything that wasn't something we knew was going to make money. All right. So if this is the first time that you're on the channel, make sure you subscribe as well as click the notification button. So that we're aware of all the other videos that we do on the channel. Uh, that's all I got. I'm already out of breath. I hate when I rant and ramble on like this. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy and made it this far. And if so, may the force be with you. Always. Wait, guys, are you still here? I'm glad you're still here. All right, so if you look down, I mean, it's somewhere over here. Look now, we actually have a Patreon. So if you guys watch the show and you really like what we want to do and you want to help support the show and you want to help me get an editor so I can get to sleep at night because I'm really tired and you guys see all my mistakes in the episodes. So please go to patreon.com forward slash the goods. Give us a penny. Give us a nickel. Give us a dollar. Tell Just us. don't give us the finger. Don't do that. But make sure you do donate something because we do have some giveaways. There's posters. There's t-shirts. There's I'll sign something for you exactly so uh, take a look guys and uh, help us out we appreciate it